I'm here with Kate, as you can see. We're here, but we're also waiting for Ben to come and join us. But we're here at, what is this place called? It's Cafe like, Signature Kitchen. Yeah, in Akujong. So it's like the really bougie area, and there's a lot of really like cute um, restaurants and cafes around here. We did want to go to another really famous French place called Oasis, but it just suddenly happened to be closed. Yeah. Too. It's so random. No, but, it's like, like closed until, like because of Corona, until like um, late. Uh, November. Yeah, because I, I feel like a lot of places have already reopened because of Corona and like everyone's just trying to go out and stuff. But yeah, we're just waiting for Ben and deciding whether or not we want to get African tea. Oh, this is like a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit um, tart, tart, tiramisu, carrot cake, mm -hmm. cookies. cookies. Oh, I think that's a crawl. My favorite part is the little sandwiches. And an undive. I love undives. How yepada. Keeping that in my video. <laughs> I've never heard of YouTube in my entire life. I don't know what you're talking about. And this is a that. home video. <laughs> Teas, croissant sandwich, and also like a, a tomato sandwich as well. I'm not sure what this is. But it looks healthy. Mm. It's super crunchy. I haven't had afternoon tea in a while. Yeah, last time I had it was April. Your birthday. Mm -hmm. My friends and I are really extra, like my home friends. And during COVID, we had nothing to do anyways. And we could only hang out with each other at home. So we would make afternoon tea. Like we would like do the labor and the sandwiches and everything we posted on my story my friends would ask me like oh where did you order this I'm like no no no, no. we made them we, made them. <laughs> we shipped it all up i used to make charcuterie boards mm -hmm. we also did that too oh our pinterest dreams you know Matcha latte, which is not a surprise. Tardi latte, the strawberry latte. And then the sangria. Mm. Ooh, I forgot to ask for no sweet. I feel like you always forget with your green tea lattes. I know, because I, when I make green tea lattes, I don't put sweetener in it. So I'm yeah. like used to just like the milk flavor and the green tea, you know? How do you like your sangria? It's good. It's yummy. Very fruity. Fruity. My friend that's like from the Irish friend, I told them at the very end, like, after we're done with class, I'm like, oh yeah, you guys can follow me on Instagram. And then they're like, he's like, hell, you're mean. Tell me, you know all about skincare. You let me look like this the entire semester. And he's like, that's so rude. And I was like, uh, he sounds funny. Yeah, he's funny. So I just took the bus over to Karusukir and I left. Kate and Ben since we all had our own plans but I want to buy some things here so since I was in this area I said might as well just stop here on the way home. For some reason I always end up here in Karusukir maybe because it's the best place to go shopping for like not too much money. So I bought what I needed from Texi Mix. Texi Mix, that's how you pronounce it. And it's basically like the Lululemon of Korea, like the best sportswear in Korea. So I bought some things for me to wear at the gym and now I'm just gonna walk around Karusukir and then catch a bus to go home. So, 
now that I'm back home, I want to give you guys a little bit of a haul because why would I take you shopping if I don't show you what I get at the very end? I did get a good amount of things this time around just because there were some things that I, were, I was meaning to pick up in person just because I didn't really feel like placing the order online when I knew there was an in-person store that I can try on the clothing first. So the first thing that I got was from other stories and Kate and I actually got the same sweater because it was so cute and it basically just looks like a plain white sweater except it has this like detailing on the sleeves. It's pretty nice quality and it's perfect for the colder months and I think it's starting to get really cold on Sunday. So not tomorrow but the day after. This will be perfect for that. Next I went to, uh, this is a little bit out of order but I went to Around the Corner, which is in Karusukyo. I think they also have another one in the Times Square Mall. Not Times Square in New York, but Times Square Mall in Seoul. And then a couple of other locations as well. But I got these like track pants. They're like a velvet material. They have different sort of velvet materials on the side panels as well as like the front and back panels. But it's actually super, super comfortable. And it doesn't look too weird on. It actually looks pretty nice. And I think because it has like three panels, it makes you look a lot taller than you actually are. So I'm very excited to wear these because they're basically like sweatpants but they look a little bit more fancy than that. And the last thing I got from around the corner is a turtleneck and I wanted to wear this underneath any vest that I have. I'm not sure if I showed you guys but last week I went to Arket and I got a brown vest from there and I wanted to get a turtleneck so I can layer it underneath. I do have one turtleneck that's white that's from Uniqlo, their heat tech line, but I want to get one that was a little bit more different. It seems like a simple white turtleneck at first, but then you notice that it actually has thumb holes. Look, that's fun. And it'll be good for when it gets really cold, so I like this little touch right here. Last but not least, I got a lot of stuff from Sexy Mix which is basically, as I told you, Korea's Lululemon. These are all for like the gym. The first thing that I got is this like windbreaker. It's getting cold now, so I wanted a windbreaker that I could wear because I don't really want to wear one of my sweatshirts all the time and have to wash it all the time because I am sweating after I work out, but I do want to put something on because it is cold outside. So I got this blue windbreaker. They only had the colored versions, they didn't have the white or black available. And I thought the colored versions would be fun, you know, just going to the gym and back. So I got this blue one because the pink one was a little bit too pink for my liking. A little bit too standout-ish. This was the main thing that I wanted to buy when I was there. I also got a couple of shirts and leggings. So the first leggings I got, I got these bootcut leggings. So I, most of my leggings, they're like, you know, tight all the way down because that's how normal workout leggings usually are but these are more like a straight leg legging so this is nice just for when I don't want to wear those kinds of leggings and I don't have anything like this right now I also wanted to try out sexy why did I say sexy? is that's how I say it sexy sexy no sexy okay I'm having a rough time but I wanted to try out their material because apparently a lot of people like their leggings so I got this one in black and then I got another one in like a dark gray color so it's like slightly less dark than the other one if you can even see on camera last but not least oh by the way I got two of those because it's like a one plus one deal so if you buy two it's like significantly less expensive than if you just buy one of them another one of the one plus one deals were for their workout shirts so I got one of these I actually already have this shirt in black but I want to get one in like a pink color so got that and I got one in white because I just tend to go for like white shirt, black bottoms. That's just like the easiest for me. But yes, this will be very, very useful. So that was basically my entire haul. I think for the rest of the day, I'm definitely going to need to clean my apartment. I'm not sure if apartment cleaning is the most interesting thing to show you guys, but maybe I'll show you guys once I'm completely done cleaning it just because it's a lot more satisfying that way. And I'll bring you guys along my excursion tomorrow. Hello everyone, it is the next day and I'm here with you. This is our first time meeting. Hello everybody. We're in uh, Iksandong today and I haven't been in this area in a super long time. We're at Chong Sudong, which is a cafe that I really want to go to for the longest time. I think Lena showed me this cafe and I've just had it bookmarked on my neighbor maps for so long. But we're now we're just waiting for our order to arrive. Would you like to say how you say your name? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dalia. Dalia, not Delia, okay? <laughs> 
So we got our soup uh, castella cake, which is basically mugwort. So there's mugwort par powder on top. And then I'm pretty sure this is like, I don't know, whipped cream or something like that, some sort of cream. And we're just gonna dig into this. Hopefully it tastes good, but it looks very promising since a lot of people I see around us also has the castella cake. always has the nicest like cafes and there's this place that was really popular off like Instagram for a really long time and there's like a couple other places over there that are also really popular. All the cafes here are honestly so aesthetic. KTX sign. Wait, just wait for it. This is like a fake KTX sign. Oh, apparently True Beauty was filmed outside of here. Right here. This, this little shop area. So, a little bit of an update. I just filmed a bunch of like TikTok videos today. I had a lot of fun because there's a lot of trending sounds that are pretty fun. So if you guys are interested or are on TikTok, make sure to follow me on there for more like skincare advice, just like random videos. I made a lot of videos about hometown cha-cha-cha because you guys know how much I'm obsessed with that drama right now. And I'm so sad because this is the weekend that it ends or like the last episode comes out tonight. So I'm gonna binge watch the last two episodes probably either tonight or tomorrow night. Anyways, I've been inside for way too long and I'm getting kind of stir crazy. So I'm gonna meet up with Jasmine for dinner. We're gonna go eat dinner in Hongdae and there's a lot of great restaurants around that area. So I'm gonna go there and just like hang around and be able to walk outside for a little bit. I know it's probably really cold today. So I busted out my long trench coat and hopefully this will keep me at least a little bit warm. waited like an hour for this ramen but Jason says it's really good so I'm excited. What is this called? Uh, Toro, Toro, Toro Python? Toro Python. Toro Python. I'll have the name on the screen right here. But so excited to eat. It's so cold today so I really wanted like a nice ramen broth you know. So we ended up going to this cafe around the area. It's called Perception. And Jasmine got an orange tea and I got a hot matcha latte. I never get hot drinks except it's so cold outside. I think it's around 44 degrees Fahrenheit. But this place is actually pretty nice. There's not too many people here and it has a good amount of chairs and like the ceiling, Jasmine said it reminds her of like Antelope Can Canyon, right? Antelope Canyon? Yeah. It does kind of look like that. Okay, we're going to do a taste test. Or I'm going to do a taste test. Jasmine needs to post her story. Ah, this is good. Wait, this actually tastes pretty good. It's very warm. This tastes like um, like orange juice, but warm and a little bit of tea. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is kind of the kind of tea that like my mom would make me drink if I was sick, mm. you know? <laughs> So Jasmine and I left the cafe pretty early, around 7.38ish. I just took a taxi back, but honestly, I was super tired. I think it's because the sun sets so early now that 7.30 and 8 felt like 10 p.m. already. And I knew I needed to come home and post a bunch of things on Reels, TikTok, my vlog that's actually already up it's the one that is the hometown cha 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 vlog so you guys should go watch it if you guys are interested in that and if you're caught up to hometown cha 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 there's still two more episodes that i need to watch which are like the finale episode so i'm probably going to watch that tomorrow night on monday because i just have a lot of homework to do today so i want to be able to binge all of it but i want to share with you guys this is 
the jacket that I actually exchanged. So I got the blue one originally. I think I showed it to you in like earlier clips. The pink one was a little bit too pink for my liking, a little bit too standout-ish. But I realized, of course, I always like the pink one more. So I decided to exchange it for the pink one. And this is how it looks like. Yes, it's just like one of those regular jackets that you wear to the gym and this will be very helpful now because it's super cold. Korea really said, let's skip fall and now it's like basically winter here. So this will be really nice on my walk to the gym. Anyways, I'm probably going to end off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend in my life. It was a pretty chill weekend this week because all I had to do were like errands, hang out with friends, etc. And hopefully I have some more to show next week because I have some things planned for fall winter season in korea if you guys have any suggestions on where i should go in my vlogs or if you have any suggestions on video ideas and where do you want to see me take you in korea let me know in the comments down below and make sure to like this video so more people can watch it anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye